Zendi and I'm a second year student at the University of Maryland and I'm so excited about the new GET video series. I've had an amazing time every single time I've gone to GET and hands down my most favorite memory has to be an expo where we get to learn about fingerprinting from a detective. My favorite STEM subjects are math, computer science, and engineering and as I'm studying computer science now in college, I plan to use it in the future to do cybersecurity and work on government protection. I'd also love to say a happy 20th anniversary to get, and I'm so excited that you all get to experience it. Hi, my name is Paige. I graduated from University of Delaware with a major in civil engineering, and I got my master's from Villanova University, also in civil engineering. And right now I'm a traffic planner. Hello, my name is Katrina Lawrence. I went to the Georgia Institute of Technology with a major in civil engineering, and right now I'm a project manager. Hi, my name is Caroline. I went to Temple University, uh, majored in civil engineering with a minor in environmental engineering, and now I work as a water resources engineer. Great, well, welcome. Um, we're here today with American Society of Civil Engineers. Our society um, enhances career development and also interacts with schools to promote civil engineering. So we're excited to be here today with you. Earth's natural life support system provides the clean air we breathe, the clean water we drink, and a lot of other resources humans need to survive. Uh, but sometimes when humans are using these resources, um, they then need to be uh, cleaned up in order to be used again. So today we're gonna do an experiment um, using some coffee grounds, clean sink water, and some vegetable oil um, to simulate a wastewater treatment um, to clean up some water to make it safe for humans to drink again. Yeah, so we took our clean water that Caroline just showed you and we made this beautiful dirty water with, she said, the coffee grounds, the vegetable oil, and the water. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to drain this into a more clean source of water. So what we're going to do is we're going to use two coffee filters. Um, we found that that works best. And you're going to need someone to help you and to hold the coffee um, filters pretty strongly so that as the water comes in it doesn't tip them over and then you're going to want to pour this very slowly in so maybe you might want to take a pause and let it let it drip for a bit but as you can see um, we're getting a little bit of drip down underneath the coffee filter and I'm just going to keep going here it's got a brownish tint to it but definitely not as dirty as this coffee water up here And something you can experiment with is uh, what works better. One filter, two filters, three filters, um, and see how the quality of the water changes with different trials. Looking clean. Mm -hmm. okay, you might need to move it around a bit if some of the coffee grinds, you know, kind of get stuck on the bottom. And again, this water is a lot cleaner than the water in here, but it's still looking a little brown. So something, um, to try before you do the experiment is estimate how many times you're gonna to need to filter this through before you have some clean, clear water. So now you can see this is the color of the water that we have here, and this is the color of pure, clean water. You can see it's not a drinkable level yet, even though we filtered so much of it out. It's because sometimes small particles get through as but well. But definitely looking better than what we're working with up here. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you can see how how noticeable. So another activity that you can do is try to do it again. See if that helps at all. If you think that'll help at all. Also test out different materials, um, cotton balls, um, paper, and see other things um, to filter through and if they work better, worse, what's more effective. Like the sunshine.